Finally, it's here. 2000. Look at that. It's DOT orange. And it's a crew cab. 10 foot dump body on it. We're going to gravel the yard. Get this place looking better for the trailer. Some place to park them out of the mud. Now, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this truck for many, many months. I finally got it to me. This is a 650. Now, this has the V10. The Triton 6.8, it's 330 horsepower, 440 foot-pounds of torque, six-speed automatic. Similar stuff which you can get on the other Super Duties, the little brothers to this puppy here. But anyway, come join us. This is the beginning of this review. I think there's a 10.5 tires there are 22.5 tires they are 11 r 225s pretty common in a class 6 truck class 7 truck now the 750 of course both of them get the diesel in it with the automatic but in the 750 you can go to an air brake system you can go to an air 2 speed and probably air C now this 650 this 650 does have the passenger side air seat that's cool. But it's a crew cab and it's inside. It's got nice cloth seats, bench in the back, the two captain's chairs up front. And it's got a tip over hood. I'll show you all that stuff. But it's a big truck. It's a tall truck. Crew cab and we're going to put gravel in it. We're going to haul trailers with it. We're going to haul all kinds of junk with it. Show you what a dump truck does. It's like my old days on the county. I used to drive a truck like this. We graveled roads with them every day at higher speeds than what we're going to do with this. But it's fun. But this puppy, I think it's $87,000 with the bed. I'll give you all those numbers here in a little bit so you know the exact numbers on it. But it's a cool truck. We're going to have fun with it. It's got like, I think it's 650 rear end. It's way down low. How low can it go? So we'll see. That doesn't sound like road gears. I hope my high end is not 30 miles an hour. We'll find out if, if six-speed overdrive is 70, at least I hope. But I know a lot of dealers actually equipped them with those real low gears, and they were made for, you know, putting around, not for highways. But we'll find out. And we got tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy the truck. Or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck, you know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anybody else. We do MPG tests, which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. Yeah, let's look at that tilt hood. I love tilt hoods. It's like the big boys. So we have is a class six truck. Some it's a class seven. Semis, a lot of them are class eight. Look at all this cool stuff. I think it's a power steering reservoir. It's gigantic. Brake reservoir. That's very large. Probably has a, it's a vacuum boost or a hydraulic boost. I'll look at the power steering pump. But look how big all this cool stuff is, and so much easier to work on. This truck has the big, probably 14 ply. 11 r 225s there's the air box big air box reservoir for the water i'll have to try to look for the old power steering pump because that will tell us a lot of stuff it's down there somewhere look at that big air box so cool look at those nice big giant mirrors single arm mirror they've got single arm mirrors now the technology has improved where they don't vibrate like they did for a while it used to be a two arm mirror kind of like a west coast mirror but gosh crow look at that crew cab it's a giant one now i can't tell it's not aluminum so i'm almost thinking this is the old super duty crew cab we had since 1999 and this bed looks like this is a roush conversion this is the bed is from 
rugby made the bed. I think Roush was the aftermarket or the after truck folks that put all this together. When I drove these trucks, you got a big cab protector up there. It even has the good old tarp so we can be legal hauling product without flying off and hitting somebody. But this dump arm, when I was using these trucks, you had a hole through here and you put a rope. When the bed went up in the air, you pulled that rope. And that's when it opened the tailgate. And then you start grabbing the road nice and evenly, flying across the road because of how you adjust this chain. That decides how much this tailgate opens and how much gravel or aggregate you're spreading. You used to do a lot of that. We'd be flying down the road and lift the bed up, pull the thing, the arm, and away we go. Now I got rid of the hole so people wouldn't do that and have a load hang up in the bed and flip the truck over. It's all about safety, so I suppose I'll have to set the chains pretty tight when I dump this. I'll have to dump this right off the bat. But man, this big old crew cab, giant steps. And I'm sure it's a giant fuel tank. I gotta try to figure out if I can figure out how many gallons this thing holds. I guess it shows it'll use an E10. Look at that giant back seat. I'm not quite sure where the triangle and the fire extinguisher are sitting on the floor. I think I would have found a little better place for that. But anyway, yeah, it says this puppy is a Roush Industries put it together. So that's where this went from the factory from Ford over to Roush, and they finished it put that bed on it. A lot of this looks a lot like a Super Duty, but look at this. It's got an air seat up and down. I know with the engine off, I can get to go down. That's yeah, cool, like a real trucker. And down here is your, your remote for dumping the bed up and down. I couldn't quite tell if that was electric or it sounds electric or hydraulic. You can't really tell. So we'll get a chance to look at this puppy. Oh, now it stopped there. I don't know why it stopped there, but we'll find out. Big old hydraulic cylinder and a twin scissors jack. But I don't know. There's a little arm we'll throw up to if we decide to keep the bed up. It's a safety arm. But why did it stop there? I guess it wanted me to think about it. That is so cool. That's only about halfway up. We start graveling this yard to make it a nice place for our trailer just to stay out of the mud. You'll see this thing go all the way up. But, look at a subframe for the bed. Pretty neat. Of course, big mud flaps. It's only a 10 footer, so that actually holds probably six, seven yards. And that means if you had like a big cat 966 loader, that'd be about, about two scoops to fill this thing up. Now we're going back down. It sounds hydraulic, but it might be, this almost sounds electric hydraulic, where what these were in the old days were all PTO. You had a PTO shaft, PTO shaft ran the pump, and that's what ran everything. This sounds like an electric motor running the hydraulics. Guess we'll find all that out, hopefully. This truck is not easy to get details with, but look at this. Looks just like it's my Super Duty XL. You got power mirrors, I love it, power door locks, windows. Yeah, you climb up in the cab. You get little trays here and there. There's a 110 outlet. And over here, a sink. You can sink this puppy. I don't see a radio anywhere. There's this too. There's an MP3. So you do have a displayer, air conditioning. There's your emergency brake. That's your park brake too. This is a six speed automatic. Cruise control. Man, that's so cool. We never had a cruise control on these big trucks. Semis do now, of course. There's the thing that tells us the bid's up. I probably could figure that out on my own. Look at these captain's chairs. They are cool. What kinds of room in here? A little tiny center console. But yeah, I'm ready to go booking. Pulling some traders, hauling some loads, having fun. I'm gonna give you a few stats. This one here, the truck itself, MSRP is 67,515. You know, if you had a diesel in here, you'd probably add another 8,000 to that. But this is the 6.8 V10 gas cab and chassis. Now the bed by itself, it shows it's 12,570. So your grand total on this is 80. Where is that number? It's so big it just keeps wanting to move around. There it is, $80,085 to buy this truck the way it's equipped. Which holy moly, pretty cool. And this one you can get from the factory with natural gas or liquid propane or gasoline like it is now. But this is cool. 
rubber floor mats of course because you're going to get muddy and dirty and dusty it's a work truck wouldn't drive this to church too many times but yeah we're going to have fun with this truck <laughs> 